busy morning today. Charlie, let me begin with you because you've been talking and thinking about this a lot, not just over the last couple of weeks, but over the last four or five years, what Donald Trump has done to the Republican Party, what he means for the future of the Republican Party. You called the vote on Saturday a defining vote for the party. What did those senators tell you on Saturday? Well, first of all, mad respect for the seven that voted to convict. Um, but you think about the votes that Republicans have taken, I think it's 17 to 240 uh, to basically say that they're OK with what happened on January 6th. Look, uh, it is Donald Trump's party, but worse. Uh, you think about the last four years and the Republican Party's acquiescence, enabling of Donald Trump, uh, looking the other way for the racism, the xenophobia, the lies, uh, the you know mockery of the disabled and women, all of that. But now they've decided they're going to look the other way to sedition, violence, anti-democratic authoritarianism. And I think that this party is, you know, I mean, I, I, I think that the, the impeachment damaged both Donald Trump and the Republican Party, but also changed Donald Trump. I mean, I'm sorry, changed the Republican Party. The P Republican Party now has a large constituency of extremists, including extremists who are violent. I know we've talked a lot about cowardly Republicans. Well, one of the reasons why they're cowardly is because uh, fear is a major factor now uh, in right wing politics and Republican politics. And I don't think that's going to go away. I think that I think that many of the right wing extremists who uh, invaded the Capitol are going to feel emboldened by the vote over the weekend. And I think that you're going to see the Republican Party continue to continue to um, un un unfortunately appease those factions. So it is Donald Trump's party, which is not new, but I think it's in some ways worse. John Meacham, there were seven Republicans who voted to convict. A couple of surprises, but most of them either just won re-election or are retiring in the case of Pat Toomey and Richard Burr. Richard Burr already now today will face censure from the Republican Party in his home state of North Carolina. So, of course, there is blowback on these votes in back home from Donald Trump himself, from members of the MAGA movement who have said, you crossed this president, you betrayed this president, showing still, even with him out of office, there is and will be a price for stepping out of line with the former one-term, twice-impeached president. Yeah, if I were Senator Burr, I would uh, embrace that. Uh, you know, and, and so, you know, there's something, you know, sometimes we talk about obituary management, uh, those seven folks just helped their obituaries. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I think about this a lot when you see we're in the, at the point in the actuarial cycle where a lot of folks involved in Watergate uh, uh, are, are moving on. And uh, it's just interesting to see what is it that you're remembered for? I'm sure Senator Burr is a, a lovely man, uh, and I'm sure he's done a lot for North Carolina and America. But I promise you that the thing right now uh, that looms largest is that he decided we're a constitutional republic, not a cult of personality. And in many ways, that that's what that vote was about. Uh, the other interesting thing, uh, and Willie, I, I always hesitate to, to offer any advice to you because uh, you, know, you, you haven't done well enough in, in, in your life and career, but you had an interesting slip of the tongue at the top of the hour. You said, we, we wonder what this will mean for President Trump's ambitious agenda. And that's a sign of the ubiquity, the ongoing ubiquity of the former president of the United States. And I'm not arguing, therefore, we move on. One of the great mistakes we made in this country historically is that uh, in the aftermath of the Civil War during Reconstruction, we did not hold insurrectionists, rebels accountable for what they did. Uh, but on, a pre on this President's Day, one of the things to think about is we do have a different president. And 81 million Americans made the, what I would argue is the right choice in November. And 57 United States senators, not enough, but 57 United States senators said that this man was, the former president was guilty of inciting insurrection against his own government. And that 5743 number, while not uh, determinative in a constitutional sense, is not probably not that far off from where the country at large is about the Republican Party. And so this, this is Charlie's bailiwick, not mine. But if, if, if I were a Republican right now, and I was thinking not in 10-minute terms, which is what they're doing, 
but 10 year terms, I would feel an existential crisis.